Hi everyone, welcome back to another Plan With Me. This is Elise of Plan With Elise, and if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. Okay, can we talk for a second about this cover? <sighs> Absolutely breathtaking. So this is a video that has been requested and I think it's about time that I try. So this is a dashboard planner. Um, I was gifted it when I went to the Michaels meetup in New York City in February, um, and I haven't really used it. I've used a couple of the pages inside, but now is um, a better time than ever. Of the the Michaels, sorry, the Michaels meetup in New York City was with um, Hannah, who used to work for the Happy Planner. So. I haven't planned in a dashboard in quite some time. I used to use a mini every single week, and then a mini really just didn't end up being enough room for me. Um, so the big, or not the big, but bigger, the classic is a lot, but I think that we'll kind of try together and see how it goes. I just wanna keep touching the pages and not plan. Okay, let me take these out and move this aside. Seriously, this planner is stunning. Okay. So I think the sticker book that I'd like to use, although now I'm kind of questioning my original idea because I was thinking, let's brighten that up. I was thinking stronger together uh, because I've only used it once. But now that I'm looking at the pages on here, they're just so neutral and pretty that I thought it would, I should maybe do something more neutral. But for the sake of, I don't know, planning, <laughs> I think that we'll, uh, we'll stick with this. So I would like to use, this is more of like a seasonal, stronger together sticker book. And let me see, I have, okay, I have some leftover wax paper here from my last plan with me. Um, and what I'd like to do is choose one sticker to start with. And the way that I'm going to go about this is kind of the way that I used to do with my mini, just to kind of see how it goes. So where I pick one sticker that will be the focal point of this spread. And then the other ones, everything else I choose will kind of be based on that. So let's see. I really like this only wake me up for brunch. I haven't been to brunch in a very long time and I miss it, but I like the greens that come along with that. I wonder if this is sized for a specific planner. Now it used to say class, I mean, it used to say classic. Well, it does say classic, but it used to say like vertical or horizontal or mini. Okay, so these are really the stickers that I kind of wanted to use this week. So I'm just going to pull that out because I plan to use them all. And since this is more seasonal, I'll pass through the fall ones. Okay. And now let's look for some other stickers that will go along well here. Okay. I'm thinking one of these girls nights. So I do think I'm seeing a friend next week. Oh, and now this one is really cute. Stay close to people who feel like sunshine. So what I'm looking for right now is a sticker to cover up this area right here. So this may actually be perfect since it has those greens there. And then I also love this sticker. Okay. And now what I'm looking for are more functional stickers. So I'm going to pull out a couple that have the same color scheme as the ones I'm already using. The peach, the coral. I like this teal, but it has a snow border on it and that's not really going to be helpful for this spread 
but I do like that there are some more here. So I don't want to take them out yet, but I do want to remember that they are there. This noted may be helpful too. This is a great sticker and I'm going to show you why in a moment. Let's get this down here. All right, so what I was looking for that I wasn't able to find were smaller, like, I don't know what they're called, quarter box stickers maybe, that would go over here. So the reason I was saying this is such a great sticker is because, well, it's almost big enough to cover this area. So let me see if I can kind of show you with my hands without putting it down. I would, I probably would have kind of done this and layered them that way. But instead, I want to use this stay close to people who feel like sunshine. I may still layer it, but first, and I think there are dashboard planners that don't have this area in gray, um, which is definitely what I prefer, but I did not buy this planner. So I'm taking out my Avery True Block label paper. And first, I'm just going to cut. I wish these labels weren't didn't have rounded edges because I feel like I just have to spend so much time always cutting them off. Okay. So I want to just cover that up. I used to do this every week with my mini and to the point that I think one time, like a Friday night, I was just watching TV and I ended up just covering up the rest of the year since I knew I would be doing it anyway. Right, let's see where on here I need to cut. Okay. I think about here. I think these labels, I could be wrong, but if I remember correctly, one size of them is the perfect box for the mini dashboard planner, if that's one that you're planning with. Okay, that's not really perfect, but it's okay. It's going to serve the purpose of what I need it to do right now. And that is cover up that section. Okay, so let's see. Move this out of the way. Sorry, I'm getting a little messy over here. All right, now I want to kind of try out how if I can have this layer together, but it may not even be worth it. So the first thing I'm just gonna do is stick down this, stay close to people who feel like sunshine. And now right at the top of the spread, I just have a nice bright reminder. Um, since I missed a couple parts here with the label paper, I'm going to use my white jelly roll and just kind of color that in so you don't really see as much of the gray. Now, what I wanna do is, let's see if I have these oh, colorful shapes. I'm just grabbing my colorful boxes sticker book because these are the small boxes that I was looking for. So I think these peach ones match pretty well, or coral, light coral, I'm not sure. And that's what I want to use for these sections. So I could use more label paper and cover them up, but for the sake of time and conserving it, I'm just gonna cover them up with the white jelly roll pen. Um, and I may still be using this cat. I mean, I won't be using bills to pay because I don't have any bills do this week. I do have one auto pay for three dollars 
but I am going to use it as more of a budgeting system. Okay, so now that those are kind of covered, they're covered enough for the purpose of what I'm doing. Um, I want to let's stick one of these here. And put one over here. I really like this color combination, so I'm glad that I chose it from that original sticker that I pulled out. Okay, that's a little bit crooked. All right, next up, let's see. So I definitely wanna use this one for bills. Um, you know what, let's back up for a moment because I don't really need to label those yet. So I do want to cover up this focus on. So let me just grab a little bit more of this label sheet. And maybe this is kind of why I stopped using this planner was because there was just a lot of covering up going on and it's a lot of work. I don't know if you could just hear that train nearby. Okay. All right, perfect. And now I want to incorporate these fun girls. So let's see. I think the easiest thing to do here will be, if I can do it, pulling off, oh my goodness. All right, I was going to pull off this excess, here we go. And that will just make the stickers easier to pull up. <clears throat> and yeah, on clear sheets. All right, so, whoops. Let's see. And now I'm going to kind of, oops, I don't wanna cut her head off. No decapitating going on in my planner today. And I'm just going to make a little bit of a border. I'm overlapping them a little also. yellow one in here. I'd do anything to be on a lazy river right now. Okay, now let me cut this off so we can kind of see how the rest is looking. That's fun. Um, I think I'll continue them over here a little bit. Let's see. This is a smaller one that I could do. Whoops. Now I cut her legs off. A smaller one that I could put right here. And I know I'm putting that over the punch. But because it's just one sticker, I should be able to easily kind of navigate around somewhat and cut this out. I don't want to use my punch just for one sticker. Let's see. Okay. It's there. All right. That's good enough. I think that's good enough. Okay. 
so we have those on the corner and now let me just kind of continue them so let's bring this girl here I'm gonna put them a little bit lower this time because I'm gonna put on this more on the side I want to give myself a little bit of room for the weekend And this is why I took that sticker sheet right out of the book because I knew that I was going to use most, if not all of them. And it was just much easier to do outside of the book. I know she's gonna get amputated a little bit there. And let's bring this pink one up here. Okay. So once I have these down, then basically the basics of the page are kind of already set and I just need to fill in the functionality. And in terms of writing in this planner this week, I'm really just going to be using it as a catch-all. So it's not going to be for like wellness or social media or budgeting. It'll just be a catch-all. And I'll kind of use it the same way that I use my classic and see how it goes. Maybe I'll find a renewed love <laughs> for the dashboard layout. All right, this is fun. It's nice and bright. It's summery. I'm happy with it. So next up, let's pull back out some of these. So we have this sunlit and sun-kissed, maybe, let's see, put it over, hmm, I don't know if I want to stick it over here because I think that that's kind of just like right on top of those girls, but I also don't have really a ton of room to put it here. Maybe I can just stick it right there. And that's a nice kind of accent for the week. And now we have these boxes. Just take them off that wax paper to get that out of the way. Okay, so I have these boxes. So I'm gonna put one Monday here. And then I'd like to put one Thursday. And I'm putting these on Monday and Thursday because Monday is my boyfriend's birthday. Thursday is my best friend's birthday. So I can just note that there. And I can still have room to write either on top or on the side. And I'm not sure yet what I wanna do with this one. So I'm gonna put that back down for now. And stick this just wake me up for brunch somewhere I think maybe only wake me up for brunch right there okay let's see and I was thinking I was going to do a girls night here but I'm not entirely sure yet what the plan is so I'm going to leave that be and now want to get more into the function of the spread. So I have my Sharpie S-Note pens and I just want to see if these colors may work well. So I have some scrap sticker label paper here. I think this may be too green. Mm, that's a little bit too green. That one's a little bit too red. So let's try a different set. I also have my passion markers here, which I love. And I have a link in the description of this video where you can get $5 off your first order. And I think that will make these markers just $10. No, that's not the right color either. And I'm sure this will be too red. 
Oh, this is actually kind of a good peach for it. But I really would like to have more of, this is probably too bright. That's too bright. I need one that's just right. I need this color. Hmm. Okay, let me, let's see. I don't think there are any other colors that this will work for. I do have an old, old bin, shoebox type bin of uh, some mild liners. Nope, that one's too bright. This one's definitely too blue. Okay, I may not have the perfect color for this. So I need to come up with a plan B. There is this darker green in here, which is nice. So maybe one of these greens it's a really pretty green. I mean, it's not, it's kind of like this, right? It's not that far off. Let me see if I have a cleaner sheet of paper that I can test that on. Let's see. I think it's a nice shade of green. It's not perfect, but you don't always really need perfect. So, okay, but we're going to go with it and use it. Um, so for this, the first thing I'm going to do is kind of color in these a little bit, or really just kind of do the same little swatches that are already there, but just to add some color into the spread. Now it's ar it already pops a little bit more. And then um, let's just put three here. We'll do three here too. And you could also use a sticker for this. I'm just kind of on this like marker highlighter kick right now. Um, we'll do two here because it's Friday. And maybe one note here, one here, and then. Thursday, and do two, and Monday, we'll do two. So that kind of adds some nice color to it. Then, I want to fill in these labels. So, got some paint or something on me. Okay, let's see. Here I'm going to write remember. And these will be just general reminders throughout the week. And this one I'm going to put budget or budgeting since I have the room. And let me see what I can put here. Uh, calls. Calls and we'll do texts. Sometimes a call to make, you know, personal. Okay, so I think we're probably kind of missing something down here a little bit. Let me pull back out this sticker book. I do like this noted, but I think it's just going to be too big for that space, and I don't really know exactly what I would use it for. So, let's see what else. nice. I 
I do like this Choose to Shine. I think we'll put it right over here. And then I think in this area of the spread, I'll write um, like gratitude or positive things that happened throughout the week. This area, I think I wanna cover up with the label paper and put another label here because I just feel like this gray is very random since there's no other gray in the spread. So I do already have this piece kind of torn. Hmm. I guess I have to really cut more of it. Otherwise you're gonna see, you won't see that black line. And I do like that gray swatch, it's pretty. It just doesn't match with this spread anymore. All right, I have those down. And let me grab the colorful boxes again. And grab one more of those peach stickers. Oh, you know what? Okay, one second. So this one I'm going to write um, I think dinner, keep track of what we're having for dinner and meal plan a little bit. All right, and I also saw this peach sticker when I pulled out colorful boxes that is a really good uh, sticker for this. So, let's see. If I can move this, choose to shine. You can put that there just so there's a little bit of color balance and then put this think dream plan here. So I like how this came out and I did it all in one take. I don't have to edit this video, uh, but let me know what you think. And if you're a dashboard person or you like a vertical or horizontal, um, and if there's any other videos or spread like layouts that you'd like to see from me, thank you so much for joining. I'd love if you took a moment to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.